Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. I was asked this question. How do I move columns or rows around in a Google Sheet? And I'm going to show you your options in this video. So it's really, really pretty easy. It all starts with, you know, selecting the column or selecting the row. And you select a column by clicking on the A, B, C, D, whatever. Uh, and you can select multiple columns. I can select C and then hold my shift key and hit my right arrow. And I can select multiple columns. I can go back and unselect that. Or I can select to the left or the right by just holding my shift key and hitting my arrow keys and going left or right and select whatever columns I want to select. Now, same thing for rows. I can select row number nine and I can hit up and select eight, nine, whatever, up, up, or I can go down and I can select down below. And then when I let go, I've selected those rows or I've selected those columns. By the way, you can select uh, cells and columns and rows that are not contiguous, instead of using the shift key, use the command or control key. I selected C and then I select E and I select G. Now I can go select uh, 9, hold the command or control key down and select 11 and 14 and 17. However, when you select uncontiguous cells or, uh, excuse me, uncontiguous rows or columns, you can't move those. I can't grab that set and move it because it's only going to move the one. It's not going to move all the rest of them. Now, once you've selected the rows or column that you want to select, it's really pretty easy to move them. There's two ways you can do it. One way you can do it is once you've selected, let's select C and D. Once you've selected and you let go, then you click on one of them, C or D, and you hang on, you click and hold it down, and then you move to the left. You see how that line pops up between F and G or between G and H or after H? And then when I let go, look what it just did. It moved C and D over to G and H. Now, by the way, if I go, oh my golly, I didn't want to do that, just hit the Control Z or Mac is Command Z or hit Edit Undo. And it puts it right back and I just click off of it. Same thing with rows. I can select a couple rows and I can then, once I've selected them, which means I've highlighted and let go, then I can click on one of the rows. I usually say click in the middle and I can drag it down. Notice that line that's popping up? I can drag it all the way to the bottom and let go. And it pasted and it pasted those down below. And again, if I go, oh my God, I didn't want to do that. Command Z, Control Z, Edit, Undo, and it puts it right back. That's the easiest way to move columns or rows of data just by simply selecting it and dragging it left to right or dragging it up or down. But let me show you another way you can do it. Another way I can do it is I can select C and do Control X, go over here to I and just hit Control V. And it puts it over here and leaves an empty column. And then I could, if I want to, this is the, if, depending on what you want to do, say you want to put something else there, you want to put their hair color. So I could put something back in that space. And the same thing, by the way, if I didn't like any of that, com, uh, Control Z, Command Z, or Edit Undo twi three times or twice, and it puts it back. Now, let's say I want to do the same thing here. I want to move these out of the way, then I highlight them, and then I hit Control X or Command X or Edit Cut, and then I go down where I want to put it and hit Command or Control V or Edit Paste, and I put it down there, and it leaves blank rows for me to put other stuff if I want to. Other stuff. So, and again, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't want to do that. Command Z twice, and it puts it back. Moving columns, moving rows, cutting columns, cutting rows is really easy to do. Just select what you want to select and drag it around, drag it up and down, or copy, cut it and paste it, and it works very easily. By the way, let me give you another one. Let's say I want the name twice. I can highlight the name and I can just do uh, Command C, Control C, or Edit Copy, and I can go over here and I can do a paste and then paste it in there. Same thing with the row. Let's say I want, and by the way, undo and, and get rid of it. 
And let's say I want to do the same thing for a row. I want these three rows. I can do command copy, control copy, or edit copy, copy them. And then I can go down here and I can paste. And I can put it down here again. Lots of different ways to move or copy columns and cells in a Google Worksheet. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope this is helpful for you.